Hello, and welcome to part three of my top 10 tips for developing intuitive two-way communication with your unborn and newborn baby. My name is Sandra Jones Keller, and I'm the Intuitive Pregnancy Coach with the CCFL Global Academy. You may be wondering, why is intuitive communication important to you? Well, say you're trying to conceive, or you're already pregnant, or you have a newborn. When you develop an intuitive two-way communication relationship with your baby, you are no longer relying on sources outside of yourself to know that you are on the right track. The information is coming straight from the source, your baby. So this type of communication adds an unprecedented level of safety, comfort, and security for you. So today we're going to talk about tip number four, tip number three, and tip number two. Counting down to tip number one, which I'll do next week. Tip number four. Say hello to your baby. Your baby is excited to talk to you. Now remember, these are intuitive conversations. So you quiet yourself and you say hello and you listen for a response. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this and you may hear a voice in your head, you may have a feeling in your heart or you may see a vision, but just be open and willing to receive the information however it comes. Tip number three, practice listening to and following your intuition. Now intuition is our sixth sense. And even if you're not familiar with intuition, everyone has and uses it. Say for example, you're driving down the street and something says, oh, let me turn right instead of left. And then you find out there was an accident the other way. Or say for example, you've been thinking about someone and you finally call them and they say, oh, I was just thinking about you. Well, these are all hits of intuition. And as you follow and use your intuition, you'll become more comfortable, you become more familiar with it. Now remember, intuition is a muscle that needs to be practiced, it needs to be exercised. So you wouldn't go to the gym once and expect to look like a bodybuilder. Well, it's the same with intuition. The more you exercise it and the more you use it, the more powerful it becomes. Tip number three, tip number two, let go of your agenda. Let go of what you think you know, let go of what you think needs to happen, and allow your higher self to guide you. And that's it for today. Like I said, we're counting down to tip number one. So you can visit my website, sandrajoneskeller.com. Just click on the link below and receive a free downloadable version of all top ten tips. Like the video and share it. Until next week, have a fantastic day.